Hey guys, I'm EJ and this is I'd Review That. When you launch a rocket, you're not really flying it, you're just kind of hanging on. Oh, and you probably want to let go before it explodes. When I was younger, my dad introduced me to model rocketry, and I used that in a very loose manner. It wasn't anything fancy. We just got the easy kits you put together, took them out to a field, launched them, blew them up, sometimes we recovered them, sometimes we didn't. And I hadn't touched a rocket in a long time until a few years ago. I decided that it was time to challenge my dad and my family to the blunt rocket challenge. And the rocket challenge is exactly what it sounds like. We put the same model rocket together and then launch them against each other. There's different categories with different varying points that you got. Whoever had the most points wins. We have a trophy that I got, and the winner gets to take the trophy home and then also stipulate the rules in the next challenge. Now, I won the inaugural challenge, but my dad Yay. won the second challenge, and so now he is in charge of the rules and picking out the rocket this year. And of course, he's got to pick out one of the biggest rockets he can and then tailor the rules of the challenge in a way that's going to benefit him the most. So this year is a big emphasis on design. And surprise, surprise, guess who's coming first place every year when it comes to design? You're right, my dad. Oh, and by the way, I've come dead last when it comes to design. Oh, and the rocket? Hold on. Say hello to my little friend. Get off that was the horrible, stage. but it's all right. This is super big Bertha. Now the box doesn't do it justice. This rocket is going to end up being three foot tall when it's completed. Now, to give you some scope on that, that is about as big as this bat. Let's be a big rocket. That's not all. The engines are also as big as my hand. And to put that into perspective, back here I've got the rocket that I launched last year. You can see it's maybe, maybe a foot and a half tall. So about half the size of that rocket. And this is one of the engines. Yeah, we're going big or we're going home. So the rocket challenge isn't for a couple of more months. So I've got a little bit of time left to put my rocket together. So in the meantime, enjoy this compilation of me putting the rocket together. strong hand but I've got it till known only by the women who've raised me well cause people pay money for therapy but I've invested deep in Irish whiskey Gingers, I owe you my life. I fell in love with another and made her my wife. My partner in crime to pillage and plunder. I heard some friends back home, they took the under. this 
song Then we may not have a large footprint But we've got such shoes to fill All right, so you can tell by the growth of my beard that it's been a few weeks. I have my rocket finished, and we've actually already completed the challenge, and we know who won, but I'll get to that in a minute. First, I want to show you my completed product. Now, I think you can tell from the design video that I was going for a steampunk vibe, and I think I pulled it off pretty well. I've got my rocket right here, and it's every bit of three feet, so I have to back up a bit so you can get the whole thing in the shot. And you can see I've got a lot of different elements here. So first you'll notice I've got the gears. Those are pretty typical of steampunk. I've got them up here. I've got them in each one of these uh, pieces here. And then I've also got them down here just to kind of carry the design through. Now I've got these extra pieces of balsa wood. They do nothing other than serve as design. They're not structural. Uh, and then I've got these curved pieces of balsa wood here just to give it some more design. And then they're all carried through up into the nose cone to come to this kind of point here. Again, you can see it's not structural. And then I come down here, and I've got most of this is painted, but I've got some metal pieces here, mostly just to give it some different materials, a different look, and also bring some depth to these here. Uh, and then the rest of this is just painted in different metallic colors that I used. And then I also carried that into the fin with the coloring. But you can see the fin here is not the normal kind of straight, boring design. I wanted to use some influences that I found with some dragon flames and with some sea creature fins. So I put that into here and you can see the different colors that I use here are actually carried along into the fins. Now, I think I pulled it off pretty well and uh, the design competition part of the competition agrees. All right, so speaking of design, here's what we do for that part of the competition. We take a picture of each rocket, upload it to Facebook, and then count the likes and comments for each one. Whoever has the most combined votes wins that portion. We actually had four people in our competition, but only three of us brought our rockets for the design portion, so only three of us got votes. The first one is my dad's who had the red Blunsky-built Polish Falcon. And there's my brother who's going back to an old favorite design with his old glory rocket. And then there was mine with the steampunk design. Now the one that's missing had a galaxy vibe. I actually think if it were in the competition for the design portion, it would have had a substantial amount of votes and may have swayed the way the votes went. But the way it stands, I can say that I finally won my first design competition of the rocket challenge. Now, other than the design or the creativity portion of the competition, we have a couple other things that we measure to determine who wins the overall competition. We have craftsmanship. How well is your rocket built? Does it launch and does it land safely? We have altitude. How high can you get your rocket to go? And then we have duration. Once it's up in the sky, how long does it stay before it lands? Now, we take all of those things and add it in with the craftsmanship and the design to figure out who won. And I'll just post a nice little graphic here or here that kind of shows the points. We don't need to go through all of that, but I'll put it there just in case anybody's interested. Now, I can tell you this year we had a first for any of our competitions. Now, before we get to the final results, you're probably wondering, 
how did the Rockets actually fare in the launch and flight portions of the competition? And I'm not going to go through all this and not show you those, but I'll let you know. We had one that landed in a tree, which we've had happen before. We had one that didn't even get off the launch pad, which had never happened before. But for the most part, everybody's rocket launched successfully, flew successfully, and landed just fine. <laughs> <laughs> and now for the final results of our rocket competition and we had something happen for the first time that had never happened before we have a tie uh? my brother and i both scored 400 points i got majority of my points from the design portion he got the majority of his points from the flight and launch portion of the competition now, it's something that's never happened before, and we didn't ever think of a tiebreaker. So this year, my brother and I are going to be co-champions. So for the next competition, one of us is going to choose the rocket to use, and one of us is going to choose the rules, and we'll go from there. We'll see how that works, but this year, we're co-champions. All right, so I've gotten off topic just a little bit with the whole competition thing, but I wanted to show you what you could potentially do with these rockets. But let's get back to the heart of the matter, the review of the Super Big Bertha rocket. Now, in general, it follows very similar to the rest of the SD lines of rockets. They're not overly complicated. This one is just big, but it's as easy to build as one of the smaller ones. So you just have a larger scale, but putting it together is about the same as any of the other rockets. You could probably put it together in about two, maybe three hours, and then maybe add another hour in there for the painting and some of the final touches. Now, obviously, my design took quite a while to do, but design was part of the competition, so I wanted to make sure I went all out. But really, you could put this rocket together in the same day and probably even launch it that same day. All right, so now it's time for me to give my rating of the Super Big Bertha rocket by Estes. And I think it's going to be pretty obvious, but I'm giving it a flying option. Now, like I said, I've built plenty of these rockets in the past and we will continue to build them. It's something that we just enjoy doing as a family. It brings us together. We're kind of separated geographically, so when we get together, it just gives us something that we can do and just a little bit of competition. And where else can you build a rocket that is literally taller than one of my kids? Now... Like I said, they're super easy to put together. You can build it and launch it in the same day typically, and you can do a competition like we do. But it's just something you're going to have a lot of fun doing without taking up a whole lot of time or a whole lot of money. They don't cost very much. Now, you can get some that are pretty expensive. This one here, I think it was $30, $35 for the kit, but other ones that we've done in the past are like $10, $15. There's the cost of having the launch pad, things like that, but that's something you can continually use if you're going to keep doing it. So the cost to get involved in it is actually pretty minimal as well. So take some time, look it up, figure out which one is in your skill set, and go build yeah. one. Now before I end the review, I want to make sure I take a second and thank a buddy of mine, Joe Teague, for lending me one of his songs for my video. He was actually the person that I was listening to quite a bit of as I was doing the design and the build of the rocket. He was doing a lot of streaming while the whole pandemic thing's been going on, so I would listen to him as I was building. He's actually still streaming, and he started playing out live again. So I highly recommend you go and check out Joe Teague at his YouTube channel or Facebook for Joe Teague Music. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. And I also recommend that you go and buy a rocket and put it together as quickly as possible. Now, other than that, that's all I've got. I'm EJ, and this is I'd Review That.